How many acres have you got here? So we've got just over 23 acres here. Uh, we're at the back of the Stone Creek Estate, which is just before Mount Tambourine, Wonga Wallen Drive. It's a brand new estate. They're all new homes in here. They're all larger blocks as well. On a clear day, you can see the ships rolling across the waterfront there. Mate, well, this is a pretty neat spot. Tell us about your vision. Obviously started with the house behind us, the pool area here, the man shed. I don't know, I think it's more about the kids having that space away from normal life. Tucked in little houses, I just want to disappear in the bush. There's plenty of room for that. Oh, let them have their fun in the trees and the creek down the road here. So what we planned to do was to do the shed first. That was kind of our, our storage where we can put all our stuff. It's a Titan shed. Obviously we thought we were going to be here forever, so built it the way I wanted it. 18 by 10, the double doors that are on there, they're four metres high five metres wide, so really you could drive any sort of machinery in there and fully insulated, plenty of electrical work done in there, and a really nice bathroom. It's really set up for a business, like a small business could easily run from that. Plenty of space. The DA's for the house that we had designed, that's all approved, ready to roll. But you've gone over and beyond with regards to the services to the block too, like? Definitely. Yeah, so everything is all the way from the street, all the way up to the corner of the shed, so that'd be sewer, water, power, which is three phase, and MBN, which is fibre as well. So that's everything right up to the corner of the shed. How far did Gold Coast south? Uh, to the beach, you're probably looking around the 25 minutes, depending on which beach. Then you've got all the shops, which are really close. You've got a Coles just in the road. You've got an excellent coffee shop. Uh, then you can see the, I think that's Hope Island, all those high rises out there in the east. And then if you go on mid sort of Brisbane way, you're looking around the, the 25, 30 minutes. So everything's close. It's kind of perfect, really. Things have changed for us. And we just have to uh, let this one go and move on. <laughs>